Okay, so question one. Right, so the question is, Salma is a disabled person who works full time and wants to take up wheelchair athletics. So straight away, that question gives you one answer. So it talks about there, if you underline full time, it says identify four barriers that may make it harder for her to participate in wheelchair mm -hmm. athletics. So because she works full time, she is going to struggle to do anything during the day. So if the activities are going on during the day, she's going to struggle there. So in there, you could put lack of time. You could, we've also got, because it's wheelchair athletics, not a lot of places have got the specialist equipment that is needed. So you could also put lack of specialist equipment. We've got lack of time. Now, you think if this person's obviously doing wheelchair athletics, they need some form of transport to get from A to B. There are not many buses, except tra taxis, etc., that are adapted to take people in wheelchairs. So lack of suitable transport would be an answer in there. So what you've got to do is, from the question, is take out those key bits of information. So because it says she's wanting to do wheelchair athletics, she's obviously in a wheelchair. Okay? So there, that lack of specialist transport will have a big impact. Okay? And then the last one is a lack of provision. So, I don't know many places around here where you could go and do some wheelchair athletics. Okay? When answering this question, it is 99 times out of 100, the first question on the paper, read what that first sentence says. Because it usually gives you two or three answers that you can then put into, into the barriers. Okay, so it's making sure you read that first sentence. All right, now the second part of it always asks you to come up with solutions to those barriers. Okay, now it's not a solutions from the person's point of view, it's from a sports center or a sports club point of view. Okay, so a lot of us made a mistake in, when we're doing the mock. That when we talked about language barriers, we put the solution was to learn English. Whereas we needed to talk from that sports centre point of view about that they could maybe employ a translator to translate for people. So here, you could put, provide suitable programme sessions. And you could even then put timing of sessions as part of that. So there you go, one and one on there cross over with each other. Okay? So there you go, you've talked about there's a lack of time or lack of provision, you've put provided suitable program sessions or better timing of the sessions. Okay? As a sports centre, I could provide adapted equipment. So if I was a swimming a sports centre and I was looking at wheelchair athletics, I could go out and get some specialist javelins that would be easier for somebody in a wheelchair to use. I could get the specific discuses or shot puts that they could use. Okay. And the last one, I could, as a sports centre, go out and um, arrange for or buy some adapted transport which would then take in or be able to take wheelchair users on board okay so got to remember that these have got to relate to what you've put above so it's a solution for the sports center rather than the person themselves okay now question two 